Okay, today is, let us proceed with our lesson. This is next, uh, lecture number six. Uh, our topic is climatology. Uh, our topic is climatology. We are here under the sponsor of Association of Computer Experts and Educational Development. So, dear students, today we are going to proceed with this lesson. And uh, the specific objective of the lesson is at the end of this lesson, students should be able to define what is pressure. What is pressure? Second one, students should be able to explain factor affecting pressure. What does factor affect pressure? So we are going to look at the factors that affect pressure. And uh, then, students should be identify a classification of atmospheric heat budget. Atmospheric atmospheric pressure belt, sorry. Identify a classification of atmospheric pressure. Pressure belt. So, in this way, I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm pressure as common element in weathers, particular topic of climatology. On the previous lesson, up to now, they had to make discuss about uh, temperature, to kangali a different issue concerning temperature, a kema solar temperature inversion, a kema solar temperature lapse rate, the heat budget in a mambo to 40 to 40. So, leo, tunakwenda kugusia direct katika solar pressure. So, leo, hati tukumaza sumo hii, lentaka kila mwanafunzi sasa, aweze kuelewa nini maana ya pressure lakini aweze kuelewa factor affecting pressure aweze kuelewa mgawanyiko wa pressure tayari eh ikiwa kama ni madai tu adhimu na madai hii ni muhimu sana kwa wanafunzi wa form 5 form 6 ambao baadaye mnatarajiwa kuja kufanya mtihani ya kidato cha 6 okay so let us start so now what is pressure or what is atmospheric pressure what is atmospheric pressure so be careful dear student to listen this lectures today it is very important for you so at what is atmospheric pressure this means that uh, pressure is a force of energy areas exerted by the atmosphere in the into a particular area due to the it is weight so when you talk about pressure it means that uh, is it force per unit areas maybe we have a specific unique area, so that area maybe has been uh, the, the, the kind of force that will be available from that area that we, we are going to say that is pressure, or the kind of force that will be exacted from that area that is say uh, pressure. Maybe I can say maybe I have uh, uh, I have a small uh, kind of 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 drop, so. The amount of force that will be exacted from that that drops that you are going to say that is a pressure. So even human beings have a pressures, is it? So that is uh, that is meaning of pressure. So up to here, uh, so here we mean that we we say that in general we say that uh, pressure is a is a is a is a force per unit area. Exacted by the atmosphere into a particular area, uh, exacted by the atmosphere into a particular area. So even within the atmosphere, so what is atmosphere? Atmosphere it means that uh, is a uh, uh, an envelope of air surrounding the earth, which held in the space by the force of gravity. So enveloping of air that surrounding the earth that is held in the atmosphere by the force of gravity. So that is the atmosphere. Okay, so atmosphere always or oh, that forces that uh, develop within the, uh, the space and hold by the force of gravity always generate pressure or generate forces. So that forces that are generated within the atmosphere that we are going to say that is pressure. So here, uh, normally uh, air has weight always air. Or that forces that will be generated within the atmosphere have weight. So weight means uzito, and therefore it exerts a pressure. So that kind of weight from from air that surrounding the atmosphere 
exact uh, exact what exact pressure due to it is weight what is called the atmospheric pressure so atmospheric pressure is associated with the amount of weight that are exerted within the atmosphere so that is what I'm going to say that is atmospheric pressure and uh, also what is instrument can be used to measure pressure the instrument used to measure pressure here is uh, uh, called a barometer so barometer is a specific geographical or scientific instrument that you can use to measure pressure but also the line which uh, join all places which equal pressure are known as isobar are you together so all lines that join uh, all places with equal pressure are known as isobar i think uh, when you're studying statistics and when you're studying map, I think this is not uh, uh, serious or important issues for discussing here. So, apart from that, uh, maybe what are the factors affecting pressure? Apart from definition, so now let us look about factors affecting pressure. Uh, factors affecting pressure. So, but before proceeding, let me tell you that always, so basically, the kind of pressures or the kind of forces that are produced with the atmosphere, as we have said, that is a force per unit area exerted by the atmosphere, that is pressure, okay? But uh, basically, the kind of pressure that will be produced within the atmosphere is not the same. So, always the kind of temperature of pressure will vary from place to place or from time to time according to the nature of each phenomena or according to the nature of geographical environments. So uh, why uh, we can say that uh, pressure is affected and why the, 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 the pressure maybe can be differ from one place to another. So there are different kinds of factors that can affect this. So the first factors we have uh, Altitudes. Altitudes. I think we discussed this in the previous lesson we discussed about uh, temperature. So altitude means height. So the pressure, uh, the pressure of atmosphere decrease increase uh, as increase in height. Basically, the amount of pressure of the atmosphere change when when decrease when increasing when there is high possibility for increasing of height. Are we together from from troposphere up to mesosphere or to the other layers? So, but on the there of therefore the, the the there is a higher there is higher pressure at the sea level from the sea level then, but uh, within uh, there is low pressure to the low, to the to the to the highland eh? uh, to the to the. But there is a pressure at the high altitude. So, from your place you are living, is it? Maybe you are living within the, the, the highland. Basically, the amount of pressure will differ with the amount of pressure that is available from the sea level. Why? Because of height, according to the altitude. The altitude within the ocean is higher to compare the altitude at the highland. But uh, so altitude is the one among the factor can affecting the amount of pressure. But second one we have temperature. Temperature. So when the air mass is heated, it always tend to rise, leading the low pressure. Basically, when the air mass that is available within the specific geographical area will be will, when will be heated, always the amount of pressure will change. Take example when you shall you shall observe the cool water and uh, the warm water you shall see the difference between warm water and the cold water so but when air mass is cold it tend to sink leading high pressure but uh, when air mass is cold it will tend to sink and lead high pressure and uh, this is commonly at the pole but uh, uh, heat, heat temperature is common to the equatorial regions whereby trade wind and uh, beat at the front and form convergence zone but another is sun overhead, the place where you're getting direct solar radiation, always the high temperature and the low pressure. But uh, 
and the low low pressure so but uh, the place with little or no solar radiation the pressure will tend to be low high together but uh, another issues we have latitude according to the global wind system pressure vary with latitude so here it means that the area of convergence zone always like equatorial region whereby trade wind meet and form convergence system basically the amount of pressure will tend to be low but the area whereby there is ascending or there is a uh, low pressure there is a divergence or the, 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 the descending system there is a higher pressure this is commonly to the polar region and the subpolar region but also we have revolution of the earth always the revolution of the earth is the one among the factor affecting pressure so here it means that uh, always the earth revolution causes season basically the earth revolution when the earth make it is a revolution causes season are together some season are warm so warm season always uh, the amount of pressure tended to be low but is a cold season the amount of pressure tended to be high so within revolution the earth we have warm season and a cold season so basically warm season the amount of temperature of pressure will tend to be low but the cold season the amount of temperature with pressure will tend to be high but also there is an issue for rotation of the earth uh, rotation of the earth affecting pressure as well so here it means that uh, so here it means that this means that uh, this affect is observing uh, between the pole region and the equator here it is a pole region exact high pressure due to the small area basically it is true according to the rotation of the earth air at the area of the polar region exact uh, high pressure because that area is very contra contracted so the amount of pressure will tend to be high but when we travel to the equator there is uh extract is uh, the area of the equator is bulge yeah so there is a higher possibility for formation of low pressure due to it is large areas okay so what the pattern of atmospheric pressure distribution so how uh, atmospheric pressure is distributed on, uh, within the world or the pattern of uh, uh, atmospheric pressure how is depending on the latitude pressure pattern ozone or belt are divided in for each hemisphere so uh, what pattern of atmospheric pressure is classified according to the latitude right together is classified according to the latitude so so according to the zone of latitude or belt uh, we have four hemisphere can be classified into four hemispheres first one we have equatorial low pressure belt which range on zero celsius but second we have subpolar high pressure belt subtropic high pressure belt we have subpolar low pressure belt we have polar high pressure belt etc so diagram of planetary pressure system as we see here how the pressure at the equator differ with other places so at the equator there is low pressure as we said due to the different kind of factors that we discussed on the on the on the we discussed here are we together so even here according to this uh here we can see that look there is low pressure to the trade wind convergence system but also when you shall look at the due to the, at the high polar region there is low high pressure because this area is is uh, there is a small area there is contracted area so this pressure is contracts contracted so there is low amount of pressure there is low amount of temperature and it create high amount of temperature of pressure but uh, here subpolar there is low pressure ability, uh pressure due to the meeting of uh, due to the influence of air uh, of wind and airs that travel and that converges on these areas so for more for more for more analyzation concerning with this uh try to visit this my blog mohammed andrea jonathan geography study you will see how this you you can explain your your uh, planetary classification system please visit this link i will send this and i will touch on the video below and you shall look in detail how you can classify how you can explain the pressure belt as we discussed here this this one so
up to here that is our end of our lesson today but uh, there is homework here you're supposed to do this homework pressure value over time justify submit this homework